It's getting bloody as IPOP threatens retaliation if Igbos are attacked during the election. Simon Hyper 1. Alright, my people, we greet you all this very morning. This is the Lord TV. We are here once again to give it to you back to back as we have always been doing. Simon Epa, this guy is too much. He will not stop until he sees to the end of this. I love this and I really, I like, pretty love it. And I know that soon you will not believe what the outcome is going to be. Now, um, in because of all that has been happening of recent, because of what the evils have been going, you know, have been experiencing, you know, over the, this and uh, since this beginning of this year, this year, uh, Ekpa has taken it up and said that enough is enough, the evils will not continue to face. Uh, something of this sort so he has come up with a condition and with a very serious warning a count one at that you know warning and saying that nothing must happen to the evils again most especially on the day of the election if that is if it's going to hold you see that so um i think Aside from the warning for Simon Ekma, warnings from other communities, you know, even the United Nations itself also sent a warning to the federal government. Um, I know of that of um, Joe Biden because uh, we paid a list, we paid attention to that very one. So it's now left to him. Okay, let's check the content, my dear people. This is morning news. The Secessionist Group, Indigenous People of Biafra IPOP, has warned against any planned attacks on Igbos during the forthcoming election, 2023 election. Mm -hmm. This was as the group raised the alarm over likely attacks from a village in the Yoruba land, saying it would reciprocate attacks on its members. IPOP spokesman Ima Powerful, who stated this in a statement on Wednesday, retreated the distance of the secessionist group from the forthcoming general elections. Powerful insisted any attacks on its members because of their call for a referendum to exit Nigeria would not be allowed to stand. The attention of the global movement and family of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, under the command and leadership of our great leader, Mazi Namdi Kano, has been drawn to a threat from a small village monarch in Yoruba land to the effect that they would deal with non indigenous especially Ndibo, who doesn't vote in the upcoming elections, according to the wish of the monarch. This sort of threat tells you all you need to know about the Nigerian selection process, which they like to call an election, the statement reads. IPOP, as a freedom movement do reaffirm our non-recognition and a participation of the Nigerian electoral process because the results do not represent the will of the people. And this is why an idiot somewhere will have the gumption to threaten what they called non-indigents and the Igbo nations in particular. Why we Biafrans await a date for referendum. Nobody should retreat in Ndibo and be a friend residing temporarily in other parts of Nigeria for any. Alright, like play, like play, we are getting 
to the doorstep everything is materializing you can see it this is no longer uh them say them say talk this is a reality for those who doesn't know mm -hmm. i want to congratulate um, the Igbos most especially i want to congratulate them because it has not been easy it has not been easy uh, yes yeah, so it has not been easy uh mazina Mikano finally will be getting out of detention yes this warning is finally going straight to mr president and all perpetrators of the heinous killing of the innocent Igbos in biafra land if you check it very well you'll see that it, uh, it is true and it is it's still appearing to be true you understand so it now left to them to eat to accept or be ready to face or dance to the music you understand so even while they'll be trying to you know to be mad they'll take their madness elsewhere or where they feel it can be applied and not in the Biafra land you understand so i think the uh the ibus the oranesis uh, they are making they are really waking up uh, our southeast governors they are the ones we are now um, waiting for and we are still watching to know what efforts they are still making to save their own son and now they come from this very dungeon okay let's quickly hear from you and let's know what your take and what your support on this may be don't forget your comments they are very much important don't forget to leave them below the comment section click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to receive more updates thank you